has been used relative to the Ebola vaccine, for instance, is just like that. Two different vaccines are given. And if you're an immunologist like me, uh, it's been used experimentally for a long time and it works better. There's good evidence. If you give two separate ones, it works better. One reason is you get the best of both worlds, if you know what I mean. So they're slightly different. And then the combination seems to work even better. So this makes a lot of sense. Uh, some people are really hesitant about the vaccine. We've seen very low levels of people in France who are keen to take it. Might the idea of saying, oh, you can have one jab of one and one of the other, even further complicate the message to say it's safe to get one? It might. I mean, again, it's all about reassurance, isn't it? And the hesitancy issue is understandable. Every country has it really, you know. As long as you reassure people and say, there's good science here, this is a good, sensible thing to do. The mission, Rosie, is very simple. Get as many people vaccinated with a high efficacy situation. And then if that happens, it's really good. And I reckon this will be even better once they try those two. You know, we'll get an even better response. So it does make an awful lot of sense. Might that give better protection as well when it comes to looking at different mutations and strains of the virus? It might. That's one thing for definite. And I might have the supply issue. If you've got lots of two separate ones, you know, that's a good idea too. You're not depending on a single one, which might run out. So you can spread it around a bit more. And they're going to try both, you know, AstraZeneca followed by Pfizer and vice versa. But the supply issue might be helped by trying two different ones as well. See, that, that might be what makes people nervous to say, oh, is this just a supply problem? But you're saying there could be, from this study, a real medical benefit in terms of the yeah. protection individuals have if you take the two different strains. Exactly. That's what it's all about, really, improving the overall response rate. The response is high anyway, but these vaccines are performing very well, like Pfizer's up at 90%. You know, how can you improve on that? Let's get to 100 is one idea. Some will respond less. There'll be a range of responses. Everybody might get to a hugely high response if you, if you mix and match.